Good morning, everybody. It's Lisa at Letting My Heart Take the Lead. Welcome to the channel. And if you haven't, go down and hit that subscribe button. Um, help me out, please. If you like the video and your contents, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, too. Hey, I just, I'm working nights, and I just got home. It was a two-hour drive home today. We are getting blowing snow in central Illinois, <laughs> and it was awful. So what is usually an hour drive for me was two hours. I just got home. I'm like white knuckled it the whole way. And so I'm like, I've got to unwind. So that's how come I'm doing this video is because I need a little bit of mellowing out before I try to go to sleep because I got to go back to work tonight. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got from the Goodwill bins. So I didn't get through it all the other day, so I thought um, we'd do a part two. Um, so, without further ado, I hope you guys aren't getting all this nasty weather. I'll tell you, the older I get, the more I want to move somewhere sunny and warm. I'm just over the whole winter thing. I just, I'm an outdoors person. I love to garden, I love to can, and I love to flower garden, and I'm just over this. I'm so over it. We've not had real cold temperatures um, this year. I mean, we've had a couple days that was like zero, a little bit below zero, wind chill, you know, but we had our first snow on October 31st, on Halloween. And, you know, the old wives' tale is that whatever your first snow is on, that's like the 31st, that's how many snows you're going to get that winter. So, I'm like, <laughs> and it seems like we, that we're going to hit that. I mean, it just seems like we've had snow after snow after snow. So, and since I drive quite a ways to my job, <clears throat> I hate that snow. So, anyway, onward and upward. Okay, so I gotta put on my glasses, can't see a thing without them. All right, so um, continuing on with the Goodwill bin haul. And if you didn't see my first video, um, that's my first trip to the bins, and I I loved it. It's either I think it's a love hate relationship. You either love it or you hate it. Um, I had a few problems with it. You know that was just personal me because I'm a huge introvert and I don't like crowds. So that was against you know that was one thing that kind of. I had to get over, um, and I don't like a lot of noise, and so I just had to kind of tune into myself and just kind of put blinders on and just, you know, go, but I love the, I love the digging for the treasure, but I picked up this little bell, you know, it's, it's, it's a wonder that anything comes out of those bins intact, the way people do it. But this has got a really neat little barn, farmhouse scene on it. Um, it does say inside made in Taiwan, so I don't know how old it is, but it's got a really pretty ring to it. And uh, like I said before, um, the bins are the last stop for that stuff. It goes to landfill. So, I'm like, somebody, you know, and I don't know whether this would fit in my little shadow box, not shadow box, but 
printer's drawer up there or not. But anyway, if it doesn't, I'll list it. Um, and then I found these two bowls. They are Fire King, I believe. Yes. They are Vintage Fire King. I just like the, you know, yellow. I, I, I really like yellow. Um, I mean, it's not my favorite, favorite color. Um, that would probably be pink or robin egg, robin egg blue. But um, I love yellow. It's sunny. It's bright. And my, if you've watched any of my other videos, my office that I'm working on is yellow. So, but I thought these bowls were were cute and they're vintage. Um, so I will be listing those on eBay. And then I may have to keep this for myself because ah, how cute is this mug? I love it it's vintage made in Japan this is me I just I love this I love I love it so I got that I was really excited about that um you don't find a lot of matching sets there I mean the day that I was there I bet they had like a hundred amber colored little um, Libby glasses. That was the only thing that you could find more than one of that wasn't broke. But I didn't get those. But I did get this um, cute little tulip glass. And I don't know. I'll look. I, I haven't looked, but I'll look on eBay and see, you know, if glasses like this sell um, individually or not. And if they do, I'll list it. And if they don't, I'll hang on to it. Okay, the next thing I got, this came from a Goodwill store because it's got Goodwill sticker on the bottom. But this neat vase. It's really neat. My phone's buzzing. Sorry, guys. But um, it's really neat vase. I don't see any. I was trying to peel the sticker off real quick. See if there's any markings on there, but I don't see any. But there's no chips or anything, and it's just a really neat vase. And like I said, I love the flower garden. So I love vases, but I don't know whether I'll keep this or whether I'll put it on eBay. Um, but I, I really like that. And then I got this... Um, pretty little bowl it's got flowers on it this is up here at the top is kind of a like a real light mint green color around it and it's edged in gold color there um this says uh oh this was the bowl that um I was really intrigued by, I'm going to have to do some research on it, but it says, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, China Potters, Paragon, Fine Bone China, England, Bordeaux, or Bordeaux, 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 you guys see that, A little focus, focus, focus. I don't know. Is it? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But I like this. I really like this. So I'm going to do some research on this. And if I remember, I will uh, update you guys in another video. Um, remember that first video I um, put out, part one of the Goodwill Bins? 
I found several single salt and pepper shakers <laughs> and couldn't find the other to it. This is a little windmill. It's teeny tiny. It doesn't have its cork, but it's really teeny tiny. And this, I think, would fit in my printer's drawer up there. So I don't know. I may hang on to that. Um, what? Oh, I just thought this was, this was kind of fun. It's homemade or handmade. Um, and my, well, it says White Meadow Enterprises, Whitefish, Montana. Um, but it's a, I, I'm assuming it's a, like a, cozy like for can you know a soda can or a beer can or whatever but it's got fish it's a fisherman's cozy so i mean this weighs nothing 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 so gosh you know i don't even know whether it would have registered a penny or not i don't know um then I thought this was neat because um, being in central Illinois, you know, St. Louis is not too far from us. And this is somewhere that I've been before. Um, I'm sure I probably was there as a child, but I don't remember being there as a child. But um, it's a vintage little souvenir cup, it says St. Louis Zoo. And it says, for a dear child. It's kind of got that iridescent look to it. Um, and it's got a Japan sticker. Can you see? On the bottom. So I thought that was cool. Um, and I got this. Oh, I bet I did that guys in transporting it I just I was gonna say I got this really cool mug <laughs> and I do like it and it's kind of got that brown speckly look to it um but I just seen it's got a big chip in it I probably did that whenever I was transporting it But I really, I, I really like that. I thought it was a really neat design. Um, and then I don't know. I picked this up. It's a Olympics McDonald's Olympics. You can see it was at Goodwill for sixty nine cents. Didn't sell. Ended up at the bins. But it's the Olympics. Um. 1981 Los Angeles Olympics and I can remember when McDonald's had these out and I was probably oh geez um, 12 or 13 years old and I remember, you know, watching watching these Olympics when they were in Los Angeles and everything. So, I picked this up. I don't know whether it's worth anything or not. I'll look it up and see. Um, then I did find these two little matching pictures. Um, and I was really surprised to find them because I found one of them, I think I found the small one first, and um, it's a really neat little, it says, made by the Cash family, hand-painted USA on the bottom. Um, I found it first, and then several aisles over, bins over, I found this one it's bigger and it has the same thing on the bottom 
So I thought those were kind of cool. So I will be listing those on eBay. And um, I've got quite a few things up right now on eBay. Um, the, my seller name is Dink and underscore 48. It's all lowercase letters. D-I-N-K and underscore 48. So hop over there, check us out, just see what we've got up on auction. And I have, I've, I'm kind of experimenting. I started out and I was listing everything in auction style. Um, but this week, um, Monday, I think, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday, I was listing some things and I um, decided I was going to try out kind of the buy it now thing and just um, list those few things, just buy it now and see how it goes. I had been listing, like I said, all auction style, but then I kind of got to where I was doing auction style with the buy it now option if you wanted so I'm just kind of experimenting seeing um, you know what works what's gonna work best you know for me um, I want to get um, my goal is to sell full-time on eBay um, for those of you that watched my introductory video, my first video, um, I told you that I'm a nurse by trade and, um, I just turned 50. Well, I just didn't, I mean, you know, I've turned 50 and I can feel it. And, uh, you know, any of you guys out there that are nurses or have occupations that you're on your feet all the time, like factory workers, you know, whatever, <clears throat> that you're on your feet all the time on a concrete floor and you're just running hallways back and forth, you know, or whatever, you know what I mean when saying it kills your knees and it kills your hips. So, I am really would like... Um, to get my eBay going enough where um, I can do it full time. So, if you jump over and check us out, I would really appreciate it. Okay, I picked this up <laughs> just simply because I thought it was so unusual. And it was at Ben's and... If I didn't get it, she was going to be broke. And even as weird looking as what she is, I couldn't stand that thought. So I thought, she's unusual. I'm just going to pick her up. Maybe somebody will love her. But she's a fairy. She could go outside in your fairy garden. But she's just a porcelain. It's It's got a number marked on it 3815 but it's been written it's not stamped or anything she's got kind of some weird looking eyes doesn't she but she could go outside in your fairy garden if you have a fairy garden that would be really cute all right and then i picked this up i I think it's probably some kind of a egg cup. I'm not, that's what it looks like. I'm not real sure about that. Um, again, it was at Goodwill, didn't sell, ended up in the bins. You can tell it is old. It's got a fruit pattern design. But see, it's a little, I don't know. Maybe it was, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. <laughs> Leave me a comment. But it's got a number in there. Um, but yeah, it, it's 
it's in really good, no, you know, there's no chips or anything. Well, I take that back. Around the base, there is on the inside. But, you know, that's far from its heart, and you don't see it, so. All right, then I found this little bell. It's um, made by Russ. Um, I believe it's a little, is it, are they, ah, I almost dropped it. Um, are they snow babies, guys? See? Little snow baby angel bell. Um, it does have a ringer dinger in there, but, um, doesn't really ring or ding, but it does have it in there. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's teeny tiny. It's not very big at all. But I think that's what they were called with snow babies. So, found it and I picked it up. I mean, you just never know what you're going to find. And then, I haven't even unwrapped these. Um, there's two saucers and the little, and a little cup. Um, it's Nippon. And then, I said, it's got the little saucers. I hadn't unwrapped them. They were at Goodwill, too. Didn't sell. Ended up in the bins. But Nippon is so pretty. I just, you know, it's such a good, good quality. So, anyway, I got those. And like I said, there's two, two saucers there in this little, little cup. And I looked to see if. I could find anything else and you know the match that and I didn't find um oh okay in the first haul video part one of the bins <coughs> phone's buzzing again um I showed you this double candlestick Holder. I did find two. I found two. Aren't I, I just I I love things like this. I think that looks. I mean, just looks so elegant. And um, I mean, I've seen seen tablescapes before where you know they've they've stacked you know a little bit and variated the height and. They look beautiful. So I th these need cleaned up. They're really dusty and dirty, and they had been at Goodwill too. They was wanting three dollars a piece for them. So I maybe give two dollars for both. I mean, because like I said, they're um, they're. They charge by the pound. So, okay. And then the last thing I got to show you out of the Goodwill bins was <clears throat> these little plastic teapot. They're tea bag holders. It says, let me hold the bag. But I thought they were cute. I got, I found three of them. Um... And I really don't see, there's not any markings or anything, but I thought those were cute. I'm a tea person. I love my hot tea, so um, those spoke to me, but I'll probably, I might, I might list those if they're, if they go for anything, but I said, these, I'm maybe, maybe at the most a nickel I would say a penny I mean there there's nothing to them so anyway so that was my first trip to the Goodwill bins and um, I will be going back hopefully very soon <laughs> so um, Guys, if you can help me out, hit the subscribe button, 
Um, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked. What was your favorite thing that I found at the bins? And um, hop on over to eBay. Dink and underscore 48. All lowercase letters. D-I-N-K and underscore 48. Check out what I have listed. Um, I'm also on Instagram, letting my heart take the lead. And you can find me on Facebook too, letting my heart take the lead. All right, guys. Um, until next time, we'll see ya. I think I'm wearing down. I think that I'm... This was just what I needed is to get together and chat with you guys and show you my goods um, <clears throat> to wind down so that I could go sleep for a little while. So you guys have a good week and hopefully I will be getting another video up towards maybe Thursday or something like that. I have day off. So um, until then, we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.